everybody, it's Dara, and today is a rather sad day. Today I got some really, really sad news, and I am making a video about it, or just because I feel like it's important, and this particular thing, although I might keep to myself, I feel like, I feel like it's urgent. I feel like, you know... All of these videos that I make, I really hardly ever, if ever, talk about why the food that's not raw isn't good for us. Or it's not even about cooked food. It's about the Diet Cokes and the... I mean, I don't even talk about things that I feel are so obvious. But, you know, today I was made extra aware that there are people suffering from addictions to all kinds of things that we have been told are good for us and that are okay to drink and will help us lose weight like Diet Coke and Diet Snapple and, and um, you know any of the chickens that people are eating with antibiotics and hormones have pumped into them and the energy from the adrenaline from you know there's so many things that I can go on and on you can google these things I don't need to talk about what foods are bad and why um, they cause inflammation and disease and, and depression. You know, I talk about why raw food and I talk about why it's so good. I talk about the vibrancy that, that I feel and, and the energy and the love and the sensitivity to my surroundings, to nature, to animals, to people, to... Um, it's the opposite of being numb, really. It's, it's being, you know, eating this romaine is like being awake and saying yes to life and saying, you know, eating organic food without pesticides and chemicals is saying yes to life. This is life. And I don't know if some of you saw, I know some of you did see the video when I went home for Thanksgiving last year. Um, I was with my family and my, my brother, my stepbrother Bobby was in the video and there was a whole thing about the turkey. Well, anyway, um, Bobby had had a heart attack a number of years back and um, today, last night, yesterday, he passed. You know, he he is not with us, and I think that more important than me, you know, keeping that private is talking about why it is so important to take care of yourself, for not only for yourself but for the people around you that love you, for the people who count on you, your children, your parents, your sisters and brothers, your beloved, um, your friends, and um, it's okay to leave this earth, you know, we all have our time, um, we do, and I believe that spirits, you know, move on, and our spirits are using our beautiful, precious, delicate bodies while we are here, and I just... I, I just feel it's so amazing to be able to give our spirit the most beautiful home to stay in while we're here and that there is so much good to be done so that at 52, um, to have cut life short, um, and I can't just say it's the food, you know, there was a lot of, um, you know, a lot of those things that I just referred to and you know, positive thoughts really go a long way. I think they go all the way, really. I think they're more important than food because when we are positive, our food gets digested with a good kind of fire in our bellies. And so, you know, the raw food and everything helps us detoxify and clean up and be bright and, and just feel so good. Um, and so that statement that food is our medicine or it's our poison is true. And today I really feel that deep in my heart. And um, it breaks my heart for my dad, my stepdad. And most of all, I felt today um, I felt all of the souls who are suffering needlessly. Um, there's so many people who are suffering greatly and suffering needlessly because if they just, you know, woke up and saw that eating this way would give them a new lease on life, it reverses disease, it reverses ailments and soreness and depression. And depression is an interesting thing because when we're depressed, we don't really care. 
about this stuff. We lose that will. We lose the will to make the changes that will make such a difference in our life. And I know, you know, I just commend everybody who is open, you know, to the best life possible. I commend us all for, you know, doing something to improve our lives for ourselves and our loved ones. And I'm really sorry and sad, you know, about Bobby because I know, you know, he had a cousin approach him after he had his heart attack and met him at the hospital. Her name is Jill and she was like an angel bringing him sprouts and and, and talking about raw food and how it helped her, I think, with cancer and, and you know, getting rid of her cancer, reversing it, and and he didn't bite. It didn't, you know, I talked to him about it and it just wasn't something he was willing to do. It was too much time or it was too much money, you know, and I thought, wow, you know, the chicken that's inexpensive, it's like $5 for the week or whatever, it's gonna kill you. So what's the point? To me, like, you know, go to, you know, live on a farm and donate your time and live there or, or do something to change your life. I can't say what vegetarian way that you can get to eat raw food, but I know there are ways. There are ways on this planet to eat, you know, good produce. And that's where, you know, all of our mental efforts need to go. You know, not watching TV and drinking Diet Coke and getting depressed. And I think that, you know, I talk about why raw and I talk about the vitality and energy and beauty and health. In there is good mood. In there is, you know, feelings, good feelings about life. And so when we numb ourselves with the food that isn't good for us or the food that society says is okay, like, you know, you go to Costco and you see those pizzas and the people are numbing, they're numb. And I feel like we deserve, you know, we deserve to be awake and our children really deserve for us to be awake for them. And I'm so sorry that this video isn't as chipper and cheery as my normal ones, but I feel like this is so, you know, it's such a wake up call um, for me. I've already had the wake up call, but I feel very um, in my heart for, for those people who don't care to know or don't want to, and that's their thing, that's their journey. But for those of us, you know, the people out there who deserve to know the truth, because raw food is the truth. Organic produce, you know, this green avocado that I'm looking around in the refrigerator, but this is the truth. This is, this is like, this is beauty. I'm going to shave off the, the brown part. It doesn't look very pretty. But, you know, life goes on for the living, for people who, here, there's the avocado. Look how green. In the color of growth. So I know, you know, I know, you know, I know Bobby's going to be at peace and he gets his next, you know, place to be and whatever that is, I, I can't even imagine. And I know he's okay, you know, I know he's okay. I, I can feel it. I just really feel compelled to share this message of love and hope and belief that we can turn our lives around. It's, it's just a matter of practice. It's just a matter of doing your very best. You know, just saying, I am doing it. Not, I am trying, but I am doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to go for the avocado instead of the pasteurized dairy. I'm going to eat the romaine with olive oil and Brazil nut parmesan cheese. And it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. And I'm going to feel really good about it. So on that note, blessings everybody. I will be going to New Jersey tomorrow to be with my family. And um, that's it. Please do get your grains on. <laughs>